Question 26 says in the given circuit, current in the wire connected between points P and Q is 2x milliampere. The value of x is. Dear students, from the symmetry we can write down that if the current in this 1 kilo ohm is I1, then here also it will be I1. And if the current here is I2, then the current here will be I2 as well. The current here therefore will be equal to I1 minus I2. Using the Kirchhoff's voltage law, that is if we move across this arm, we can write down that 32 will be equal to 1 plus 1 into I1. So, therefore, I1 will be equal to 16 milliampere. Similarly, I2 will be equal to 8 milliampere, which means that I1 minus I2 will be equal to 8 milliampere. And if we equate it by 2x milliampere, then we can find out the value of x which will be equal to 4. Therefore, option number 4 for this question is the correct answer. Now, let us solve the question number 27. Question 27 says two identical current loops are placed with their planes mutually perpendicular as shown in the figure. The ratio of net magnetic field at point P due to both loops to that due to either one of the loops will be. Dear students, let the magnetic field due to one loop be B. We can acknowledge the fact that the magnitude of magnetic field will be equal to due to the both loops. The magnetic field here due to this loop will be in this direction and due to this loop it will be in upper direction. The net magnetic field therefore will be equal to B square plus B square under root that will be root to B. You have to find out the ratio of net magnetic field to that due to the other one of the loops. So therefore, the ratio will be equal to root 2 ratio 1 and hence option number 3 is the correct answer. Now, let us solve question number 28. Question 28 says a current carrying wire is bent in form of a parabola as shown in the figure whose equation is given by x square plus y is equal to 25 where x and y are in meter. The wire is placed in a uniform magnetic field B is equal to 5 minus k cap tesla. Magnetic force acting on the wire will be. The students in this case since the magnetic field is uniform the force is equal to I L effective cross B. The L effective will be this length. So therefore dear students if we put y to be equal to 0 we get x to be equal to plus minus 5 meters from this equation. Therefore this length L which will be equal to plus 5 and minus 5 is distance that will be equal to 10 meters. This will be the effective length. Dear students this will be along I cap. So we can write down that the force will be equal to I that is 4 multiplied by 10 i cap cross 5 minus k cap. So, this will be equal to 200 j cap Newton which makes the option number 4 as the correct answer. Now, let us solve the question number 29. Question 29 says magnetic field in a cylindrical region of radius r is equal to 2.5 centimeter as shown in the figure varies according to the equation b is equal to 2 t cube minus 4 t square plus 6 tesla. The value of force acting on an electron placed at point P at time 2 second will be. Dear students, at point P, the value of the electric field that is induced can be written as R square by 2R dB by dt. Where R is the radius of this particular circular cross section and small r is the distance from the center where it is given 2r. So, E can be written as r square divided by 4r and dB by dt we can calculate from this expression will be equal to 6 t square minus 8 t. On substituting the value of t equal to 2 seconds we get a value of E to be equal to 2r which will be equal to 5 into 10 raised to power minus 2 Newton per coulomb. The students, the force will be equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to power minus 90 that is the charge multiplied by the electric field 5 into 10 raised to power minus 2 Newton per coulomb. So, this will be equal to 8 into 10 raised to power minus 21 Newton which makes the option number 1 for this question as the correct answer. Now, let us proceed to the question number 30. As per question number 30, 
the periodic voltage V varies with time T as shown in the figure. T is the time period. The RMS value of the voltage from T is equal to 0 to T is equal to capital T will be. Dear students, the RMS value of voltage can be written as integration of 0 to T by 4 V square dt divided by integration of dt from 0 to t. Please note that there is no integration from t by 4 to t for v because the value of v is 0. The students, v has a value of 2v0. On substituting this in this expression, we get a value of v rms to be equal to v0 itself, which makes option number 3 of this question as the correct answer. Now let us proceed to the question number 31.